Hey guys, uh, it's me Troy from Troy's Movies. Here, not in the Troy's Movies room, sadly. I'm here in the living room. It's not nearly as good as the Troy's Movies room. Or, for those of you who are watching my moving video, as my 3D design of my new room is. But, right now, we're, uh, we're, we're in the living room doing the, the Flash Quest video. So, just so you guys know, um, wait, uh, two things actually. First, um, I am, uh, packing up, and I packed up my capture card, so I had to record all this footage straight off of my distance learning Chromebook. I primarily got it for just in case my Mac isn't useful or can't be used for some reason, but another good thing it's used for is it can run Flash on it, so, um, yeah, I used it for that, uh, and I recorded off of that too, but they were all WebM files, and so I had to convert them, and as a result, the quality probably isn't what you're up to expecting with most FlashQuest videos. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but, yeah. Also, second thing, that's probably way more important, my school updated in the last month, which was Mario month, and I couldn't really find any good Mario-themed Flash games, uh, and they updated to one called Securely, and they, like, hunt down all Flash games websites, um... There are some, like, unblocked websites that, like, I think what they do is label themselves as, like, a learning tool or something. And then they, like, put games on it and get around that. So, yeah, there I did get on, eventually get on those ones. But uh, the ones that, like, just are games, like Friv, I wasn't able to get on. Um... I may be able to get them on in the future for future Flash Quest videos, but because this is the month that Flash Player dies, um, oh, and also I should mention that uh, some of these Flash games are getting put on Internet Archiver or something, uh, but most of them will probably just be lost to time. So, without further ado, Flash Quest Episode 5. So the first Flash game in this episode is going to be Super Fighters, made by MythologicInteractive.com. Uh, you can play a one-player, two-player match, and actually, it's really fun. You have to, like, beat up people uh, until you get a gun, and then you can hit people with your gun to do more damage. And the goal is just to knock out the computers, or the second player, if you're playing a multiplayer match. Uh, each punch does increasingly more damage with a combo, and oh, once you find a gun, it does even more damage through combos. Overall, a pretty fun Flash game. Very, very good in 8-bit styled fighting games. Uh, and just an achievement in not being locked by my school. So this next Flash game is called Slow, and while it doesn't really run very well and has some pretty tight jumps, let me tell you this is the best Flash game we're going to talk about today. It's sort of a 3D ball rolling game where you have to avoid touching this red stuff while getting as many points as possible. And it even has online leaderboards, which are actually pretty rare in Flash games. Most of the time, they just show you your score and let you move on. So, this is really impressive. And it should, because it was made in the Unity game engine by Y8, which is a relatively unknown, but still really impressive game maker. Um, this is just impressiveness to the max. I mean, 3D Flash games are never the most common thing out there, but to have one be as 
good as this one was. Oh my goodness. I mean, it has some problems. The frame rate really chugs at around 10 FPS, and uh, the jumps are really hard at later stages, but with the green SETI aesthetic and the overall addicting gameplay, I honestly think this is the best Flash game we're going to talk about today. Okay, here's another 3D Flash game made in Unity called Gunmaster 3D. And while it may sound fun, let me tell you, it's horrible. The 3D is just so blocky. It feels almost like a mix of a Nintendo 64 or a GameCube game. And while it was on Flash, it was made and copyrighted in 2020. You make something of this quality in 2020. I would have expected something as epic as Gunmaster 3D to be at least decently good. There's only one music track and it loops throughout the entire game. You only get one gun throughout the entire game. There's no way to get any more time, and the entire goal is just to shoot at your enemies until the time runs out. And look at that frame rate. It's even worse than slow. Uh, this, this is a terrible Flash game. J just avoid this one if you can. It's just disappointing. Okay, next is Geometry Neon Dash. Uh, so this game is actually pretty good, like slow, although it about runs at the same frame rate. But still, it's a clone of Geometry Dash, and you can't go wrong with Geometry Dash, even though it's pretty hard. You have to jump over triangles in order to get a key and then exit each stage to unlock more. Uh, it's just plain old Geometry Dash fun, you know? I love it. Okay, now we're definitely starting to get into some weirder territory with the Flash games. Combat Penguin from Crazy School Games is hectic to say the least. You're a penguin on top of a house trying to shoot uh, snowmen that sometimes have armor to get them to stop them from destroying your house. I guess is what you're trying to do. Uh, it's fun. I mean, it runs again at 10 FPS. What you guys have about, like, some better frame rate, but it's a fun game. Just don't really have much to say about it. and a lot of mez. But what matters is that we get to check out some Flash games before Flash Player dies in January. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single Troy's Movies upload. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!